A tale of near tragedy in North County. Photos show this toddler beaming ear to ear, not knowing that a hit and run driver's actions would land him in the hospital and on a feeding tube. Tonight, his family wants the person behind the wheel behind bars. Want to thank you for watching News 4 on air and wherever you're streaming. I'm Samantha Jones. And I'm Corey Stark. The hit and run happened in Spanish Lake, north of I-270 near Bell Fountain Road earlier this month. Only News 4's Emma Hogue spoke with the child's family about their search for justice. She joins us outside Children's Hospital in the Central West End. Emma. Corey, yeah, just heartbreaking hearing exactly what happened to this poor little three year old boy. Right now, Martez Abercrombie is going on week three in the hospital as his family prays for a speedy recovery. They're also pushing police to find the driver who nearly killed him. He's such a strong baby. They call him soldier because he's definitely that. He's definitely a warrior. A little boy now fighting a battle no child ever should. At just three years old, Martez Abercrombie is in the hospital with little movement and an uncertain outlook. His aunt, Averyon Green, still can't believe how someone could be so careless. What type of person in this world would hit a three-year-old baby and don't stop and drag him? It was cold-hearted. You have no remorse for life. How, how dare you? Green says the nightmare happened on July 5th, just after 630 at Martez's grandmother and dad's house on Criterion Avenue, a residential neighborhood in Spanish Lake. Martez and his 10 year old sister, Lakaya, were playing outside before heading to their mom's house. He ran to get a toy and ran back. Once he got to the edge of the driveway, that's when the car came speeding really fast. The car knocked him up and then I guess he flew down and then it dragged him about four to five houses up. Tonight, investigators are still looking for the driver who sped off, leaving this little boy in the middle of the street. Green says Martez had surgery to remove brain bleeding and can barely move his arms and legs. He wasn't breathing on his own. He was having back to back seizures. But in recent weeks, Martez, the warrior, is making strides. Say hi, everybody. His mom recorded this video on July 11th when doctors removed his breathing tube. For him to, you know, fight through that and, and don't give up on life, we, I mean, we, that's, that's what's keeping us through. Tonight, this family is hopeful the power of prayer will help their soldier pull through. Green wants her nephew back home and the driver who hit him held accountable. So we're talking about a baby, a child. Like we're asking like, what if it was your child? Like, wouldn't you want someone to come forward about what happened? Martez will be four years old next month. Police still haven't given us a description of the suspect's vehicle. But as always, if you know something, you are asked to call the St. Louis County Police Department. Emma, just a heartbreaking story. Can you tell us how long Martez's recovery will last? Sam, his family says it will be several weeks, if not months. His aunt actually just texted me saying doctors say if he moves his neck even the slightest bit, there is a high likelihood that he will be paralyzed. And as you can imagine, these medical bills are really piling up for their family. And if you'd like to help, they have created a GoFundMe page, and we have that linked right now on our news app. Certainly wish live the in the Central West End. Emma Hogue News 4. Yeah, Emma, thank you. Certainly wish the best for them and their recovery and their search for justice. Thank you.